Hi, uh, my name is Chelsea Deloney. Um, I am the daughter of Vanport and Redlining, of eminent domain in North Portland. My community has been experiencing a housing crisis since black residency was legalized in Oregon. I have been involved with local housing justice organizations since the fall of 2015. But my journey to social justice activism was not born out of passion, but out of struggle and survival. This month, four years ago, I dropped out of college to work two minimum wage jobs and ate one meal a day while paying $900 per month for a 400 square foot apartment while pregnant. We lived in a cramped dwelling with black mold in the shower, blood on the ceiling, and a doorknob that was constantly falling out of the door. The heat also didn't work. No matter how many times we pleaded with management and the private landlord, um, they would never fix any issues. In response, I would receive malicious phone calls from the landlord about my unmarried and pregnant state. They retaliated against my annoying request by smoking underneath my open window, which was the only way to provide ventilation. The cycle of abuse continued until we were given a notice that our rent would go up to $1,000 a month. Our landlord also refused to return our deposit. As we scrambled to find housing, we faced many rejections based on my pregnancy, being black, and not making three times the rent. With no other choice, I returned home to my dwindling community and a house full of my other family members who had also been displaced due to rent increases. After returning to college one week after giving birth by C-section, I began and completed my bachelor's degree and went to work for a software company where I made enough salary to afford the skyrocketing rent prices. When I returned to view and apply for apartments in my area, the rents had all increased to at least $600 more, and people were still not willing to rent to a black single mother, even if I made more than three times the income requirements. My son's speech development suffered because, for those of you who don't know, stable housing directly affects early childhood development. After a six-month search, the only place that would take us cost more than 50% of my income per month. After moving in and meeting my neighbors, many of them elderly and helpful with my son, everyone received rent increases of four to five hundred dollars per month. Each and every one of the neighbors I had formed a community with had to leave. After losing my job at the software company, I prayed every day that my thirteen hundred dollar a month rent won't increase, not even a dollar, as my rent is now ninety six percent of my income. At this moment, there are no rental assistance funds available for us. Without relocation assistance, we can't currently afford the security deposit to even a less expensive apartment. I also can't afford to choose between feeding my son and keeping a roof over our heads. Thank you for your testimony. Thank you. Thank you.